So we have a circle here that's graphed. The first thing we're going to need is the Cartesian equation for a circle. So if we have a circle with center at h, k, and radius r, we have the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we have a circle here. I'm going to draw the center and then write the coordinates. So we went left 6 and up 6. So this is negative 6, comma, positive 6. That's the center. Now the radius, you could either measure it to the right here. You can measure it from the center straight up. Uh, or the other way you could do it, you can measure the entire diameter and cut it in half. So let's just go ahead and use the radius here on the right. So our radius will equal, uh, we're going right here, 6 over. So radius is 6. Again, not because of that coordinate, uh, but because horizontally went 6 units. Just remember on this grid, every square is 2 units, not 1. So we're just going to write down all of our uh, hk and r values. So hk is negative 6, positive 6, and the radius is 6. So that means h is negative 6, and k is positive 6. And now we're going to plug these in. So we have x minus, so h is negative 6. So it's x minus negative 6 squared plus y minus k, which is 6, squared equals radius 6 squared. <clears throat> we have x minus negative 6, so those negatives turn into a plus. You could write 36 over here instead of 6 squared, but I'm going to keep it as 6 squared. Okay, so we have a equation for this circle, but it's in Cartesian. It's in x and y coordinates. We need to turn it to polar coordinates. And the way we're going to do that, x is r cos theta, y equals r sine theta, and then sub these in. So I see x right here. We're going to swap that out. So we have, oh, I just said we're going to swap that out. So we have r cos theta in place of x plus 6 squared plus uh, y is getting swapped out for r sine theta. And this one is a minus 6 squared equals 6 squared. All right, next it says simplify by expanding, meaning foiling, squaring these two terms, and then carefully canceling the results. We're going to need a little bit more room. So let's go ahead and write it down here. So we're about to foil or square. So let's just go ahead and write the squared as the term multiplied by itself plus the other term multiplied by itself. Okay, so we're going to FOIL here. So we have first, first, multiply those two together. You're going to have R cos theta, R cos theta. And these are all multiplied here. So it's really R squared cos squared theta. So that's the first multiplied together. Now the outside inside. So we have 6 r cos theta plus 6 r cos theta, and those are the same, so we can add them together. 6 and 6 is 12. So we can just write this as 12 r cos theta. 6 and 6 is 6 squared. That's the last. Now we FOIL out these two terms. We're going to do this a little bit more quickly. It's going to be very similar. So we have r squared sine squared theta, that's the first. Outside, inside, they're both negative 6 r sine theta and negative 6 r sine theta, that's negative 12 r sine theta. 
negative six times negative six is plus six squared because those two negatives cancel. And you still have the six squared on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna do a few things here. There's a six squared on both sides. So if I subtract six squared, these will cancel. There's still a six squared that's gonna survive. The other thing we're gonna do, we have two terms that have an r squared. So we're gonna factor out the r squared. And the reason why, you should see an identity right there. So I, the two terms with an r squared I factored out, so it's left is cos squared plus sine squared. And let's write everything else out, plus 12r cos theta minus 12r sine theta, and I'll put the constant six squared at the end. Uh, these two canceled out, so that's why you, there's a zero on the right side. Okay, so what identity do we have? Well, what is cos squared plus sine squared? That equals one. So this is r squared times one, which of course is just r squared. Plus 12r cos theta minus 12r sine theta plus six squared equals zero. And that is as simplified as it's gonna get. If you really want, you could factor an r out of these terms, but this is good enough for our purposes. We have a polar equation and the squared terms have canceled themselves out. So this is the answer right here.